Boeing and U.S. Air Force to convert batch of F-16 jet fighters to unmanned drones. Military avionics experts at the Boeing company will convert several retired U.S. Air Force Lockheed Martin F-16 jet fighters into sophisticated unmanned drone, under terms of an $11.2 million order announced. Officials of the Air Force Life Cycle Management Center at Eglin Air Force Base, Florida, are awarding a contract modification the Boeing Defense, Space and Security segment in St. Louis to handle the conversion of about 120 F-16 fighters into unmanned QF-16 drone. U.S. Air Force, the company recently flew one of these unmanned jets performing combat maneuvers and a perfect centerline landing. The unmanned jet took off from a base in Florida and flew to the Gulf of Mexico, and was trailed at all times by two chase planes monitoring its course. It flew great, everything worked great, it made a beautiful landing, probably one of the best landings I've ever seen, said the project's chief engineer Paul Sigers. One of the major advantages of not having a pilot on board a jet fighter, is the ability to stress the plane to higher limits without fear of losing human life. During this flight however, the aircraft was only tested at 7G of acceleration even though an unmanned, fly-by-wire F-16 should be quite capable of performing maneuvers at 9G. The Air Force has used converted jet fighters as target drones for decades, beginning in the 1960s when the Air Force converted 24 Lockheed F-104 Starfighter jets into target drones. The QF-16 target drones are replacing the Air Force's fleet of QF-4 target drones, which are converted McDonnell Douglas F-4 Phantom jet fighters which were phased out of active service in the 1980s. The newer QF-16s are bringing a new level of sophistication to U.S. supersonic target drone capability. The F-16 is a fourth-generation fighter, and brings new challenges for weapons testing over the third-generation F-4. Boeing also installs a flight termination system that can destroy the drone if it goes out of control, command telemetry systems so operators can control the drone can be controlled from the ground, a scoring system to gauge the accuracy of air-to-air -air missiles fired at the drone, as well as avionics packages to enable these plans to fly unmanned. Boeing and the U.S. Air Force converted F-16S, redesignated as QF-16s, now we have a mission-capable, highly sustainable full-scale aerial target to take us into the future, Lt. Col. Ryan Inman, Commander, 82nd Aerial Targets Squadron, is quoted as saying in a Boeing press release. Boeing started converting F-16S into the first QF-16 drones in 2010. First unmanned flight was in September 2013. Air Force leaders are expected to buy a total of 120 QF-16 target drones through 2019. Optionally Air Force leaders are considering buying a total of 210 QF-16 through 2022. The fleet should last until 2025. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.